This is what round two of the crackdown on Islamic group Popular Front of India and its political wing SDPI looked like. Of the 200 arrests or detentions across eight states, the most 80 were in Karnataka, followed by 44 in Uttar Pradesh. Last time, the crackdown was led by the NIA, the National Anti-Terror Squad. This round of arrests has been led by the state police. The focus of this round of action, like the arrests of the STPI leaders in Karnataka, says the police, is to round up PFI members who were planning violent protests against the PFI crackdown. So these people, they were inciting communal violence or public disorder or trying to foment trouble in the society. And even now, in the past they have done it and even now they are trying to, uh, planning to do such activities. That's why these people, they have been taken into custody. In Delhi, the arrests were accompanied by enforcing prohibitory orders in Jamia Nagar in southeast Delhi. But specifics of the arrests remains unclear. In Assam, for instance, the police has not officially specified the charges as yet. Police sources say they have recovered PFI literature, which is seditious in nature, including a vision document 2047, which plans for an Islamic state when India attains 100 years of freedom. In Maharashtra, the police claim the arrests are based on information about the PFI collecting information about the Nagpur headquarters of the RSS. Home Minister and Deputy CM said the raids are evidence-based. Take whatever things are happening here, they are happening in the rules and rules. The government has been working for 2-3-5 years for the past Swift action seemingly synchronized. The police swooped down on SDPI and PFI activists for the second time in a week. While some of them have been detained based on the interrogation of last week's arrest that was made by the NIA, ED and also the state police, some of them have been detained based on the preventive action report that's been generated. Now, this prevents these, some of these activists who have been detained from indulging in illegal activities. In Bengaluru, Srija for NDTV with Sohit, Ratnadeep and Neeta in Delhi.